to end racism and bigotry and discrimination in this country. As somebody who has one of the strongest voting records for women, I know that a hundred years ago today, women in America didn't even have the right to vote. But women by the millions and their male allies said that in America, women will not be second-class citizens. They organized and fought back. Change always takes place from the bottom on up when millions of people look around them and they say racism and sexism and anti-worker policies are not acceptable. We're going to change that. And that's where we are today. Millions of people are looking around this country and they're saying, why are we the only country that doesn't guarantee health care to all? Why are we the only country that doesn't have paid family and medical leave? Why are we the only country that forces workers to work for eight or nine bucks an hour rather than raising that minimum wage to 15 bucks an hour? Why do we continue to have institutional racism and a broken criminal justice system? Why, why, why? And what millions of people are saying it is unacceptable. The billionaire class cannot have it all. We're going to fight for real change. And that is what this campaign is about. Now, one of the arguments made against this campaign is people say, well, you know, Bernie Sanders, nice idea, nice guy, nice ideas, but he can't win the general election. That's wrong. That is factually incorrect, and I would all of you take a look at all of the polls, almost all of the polls that have been taken over the last several months. Last national poll done by NBC Wall Street Journal, Bernie Sanders versus Donald Trump. Sanders wins by 18 points. In virtually, in virtually every single poll, we beat Trump by a larger margin than does Secretary Clinton. So if you want a candidate who will defeat Trump or some other Republican, you are looking at him right here. But it is, it is not just the polls. In my view, the American people will never elect a president who insults Mexicans, who insults Muslims, who insults women, who insults African Americans, and I want to say a word on this because some people have forgotten. Donald Trump, several years ago, was one of the leaders in the so-called Bertha movement. You all know what that's about? Don't underestimate what that Bertha movement was about. That movement was a very deliberate effort to undermine the legitimacy of President Barack Obama. That's what it was. It wasn't saying we disagree with Obama, that's fine, people can disagree. It was lying and saying that he should not be president because presumably he was not born in the United States, a lie. Now I find it very amusing that my father was born in Poland. I'm the son of an immigrant. Barack, o Barack Obama's father was born in Kenya. He is the son of an immigrant. But I find it rather strange. Nobody has ever asked me for my birth certificate. Yeah. 
Maybe it has something to do with the color of my skin. Now, we together will defeat Donald Trump because, because the American people fully understand that bringing our people together, black and white, Latino, Asian American, Native American, gay and straight, men and women, bringing our people together will always trump separating us and dividing us up. The American people understand that community, understanding that we have got to reach out and help each other. You've got to help my kids, I've got to help your kids. That that will always trump selfishness. And most importantly, the American people understand what every religion in this world has always taught us, whether it is Christianity, Judaism, Islam, Buddhism, whatever religion, and that is that at the end of the day, love always trumps hatred. Now, the story of this campaign is that we win elections when the voter turnout is high, we lose elections when the voter turnout is low. I hope very much that tomorrow, here in Ohio, there will be a massive voter turnout I hope very much that Ohio will be one of the states to lead this country forward toward a political revolution. Thank you all very much. <laughs>